Hi guys, today we are going to be doing something very different. I've never done anything like this before, but it's going to be um, really easy actually. We're gonna use up a lot of our envelopes that we have stored away. Now this is going to be a envelope journal with an envelope topper. We're doing two in one today, and I thought that this was gonna be a lot of fun. There was a lot of prepping that I had to do, so I have a lot that's done already, um, but I did leave a few things so that we can do together. Now this, I just did a simple closure with an eyelet and some string, but this is going to be our closure for the envelope journal. And then this is the topper, and I already have it glued on. And so these are just a lot of different um, size envelopes. So I have this five by five, and this is gonna be a perfect way for you to use up your five by five little packs that you get from, I don't know where you get them from, but um, I got a lot of mine from Timu. And so I found this one in my stash, and I thought that this would be perfect to do with this little project and so i used up almost all of the little papers and so here's this then we have our first little envelope and i've already decorated everything and then so here we have just a little um the little cutouts that come the little cut aparts or whatever you call them that come with it and then here's this again with more of that. And then this is the base one that I just kind of left as is. And oh, this got this snuck under there. And so there's that. And so again, you close it like this, like this, like this. And then this is the actual journal. So again, using envelopes. And then so here you have your little pocket here. You have your journal with all your fun papers and then you have your back pocket here and it is sewn in and so there you have your little pocket so i thought this was really fun so let's go ahead and get started you're going to want to get two of the same size let me put this back together well actually i'm gonna i might leave it open just so that i can refer back to it again later so i have this these are going to this is the base and these are they're going to be the same exact um, envelopes that I used for the sample and so this one I'm just using whatever ones you guys have so I'm not even going to give you guys your me measurements because you guys are going to use whatever you have on hand so I have these and I'm going to be using these as my cover and then this is going to be the base for my topper and then we have this one that's good that's just a tiny bit smaller then you're going to want to go smaller and then smaller and so these are the ones that i'm using and i've already inked everything now for this one i thought let's do something a little bit more masculine i guess and so i found this pack that has a lot of like um machines and little things that kind of you know like little blueprint figures and stuff like that and so i thought that this was going to be a fun one to use and so i've already cut up my pieces so let's go ahead and start putting everything together i do have my papers that we're going to be using for inside the journal all i did was um, pick out what papers i wanted to use and fold them in half and then we'll go ahead and cut that out when we're ready so let's go ahead and start doing the actual journal part and so this is going to be it's going to be like this so let me see i have to refer back because i did it last night oh duh it goes this way Okay, so we're doing it like this, and then this is our closure. So we're going to glue this part back here. So let me show you this again. So we have the two, and we're going to glue this one like this, so that this could close, and then this will be our closure. So let me go ahead and glue that down. You're gonna need a lot of glue, so make sure that you have your bottle nice and full. So 
So we're just gonna close that, make sure that it's even. So I did try to prep as much as I could so that this isn't gonna be a five hour long. <laughs> I'm kidding, it, wasn't, it didn't take me that long. But I did try to prep as much as I can. So there's that. Now we can go ahead and, would it be easier? I guess it doesn't matter. But um, I do have everything already cut. Now what I did was because I have, you know, a lot of the same, the envelopes, what I did was I made, look, I made little templates with um, the vellum paper. And so this is for these. And then I have these for the smaller ones. And then the tiny one I just kind of eyeballed. So I've already cut these out. So let's go ahead and I think I want them like this. So we'll go ahead and just put these on now. I don't think it really makes a difference. Hopefully it won't because I actually did all of this after I sewed everything in. So hopefully it won't cause any problems, but I've already inked everything. I've already cut everything out. So again, you're going to use just whatever, and I'm sure you have like I do. I know I'm not the only one that has a bunch of envelopes and cards that we don't use, and so I just grabbed a bunch to see which ones we could use. Move that. And then I do have the piece that goes in here, which is going to be this one. Wait, this way. Let me go ahead and ink this part. I use the Walnut Stain Distress ink for this one because a lot of my envelopes are the craft color. And so this is going to go in here like this. It is upside down, but what are you going to do? So just keep in mind if it is directional, you want to make sure that you have everything upright. So what is it? Do as I say, not as I do. Because this one's upside down. But no worries. Let's go ahead and put that in too. And supplies, mm, I'm kind of thinking, I don't, I'm not sure. I guess I can try to see if I can find these, these paper packs on Timu. Cause I know that that's where I got them. Okay. So there's that, there's that. Now this part we'll do at the end because I do have the part that goes here and then on the back. But let's go ahead and work on this. <clears throat> Again, I just got a bunch of different papers. And then I did want to just show you how I do this. Now, I, I feel like everybody does it different, so don't come at me, but it just works for me. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to mark it. I don't want it to be too far out so let's see where did i do this one yeah i think i'm going to do this one to here just so that i have enough space so let's go ahead and trim this down i'm going to get my metal ruler and i'm going to first let's move this i'm going to line this along with my grid on my mat so that i know that i have it straight and then with the craft knife and my ruler, I'm gonna try to press down really hard with this and we're gonna just go layer by layer. So pressing down and 
and they'll start to come off little by little. one there okay now keep your scraps you never know when you might need them I have a little bin full of my little scraps these little ones I probably won't keep but everything else I will okay now for the height of it so let me measure how tall I want this um, I'm thinking maybe because you always want to leave at least maybe an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, kind of eyeballing. I think I'm going to do it here. I think that's okay. But I don't want to cut this pretty paper, so I'm going to have to slide this one down just a tiny bit. And then... Let's put these little things back on. Let me see, yeah, okay. So now, should we do it this way? Let's do it like this. And then I'm gonna cut straight along that line. So again, doing the same thing. Saving these little scraps and I think we're done with that now I can make sure that I have all of my papers where I want them making sure that everything is where it should be I think it's good now let me tell you how many papers I have just to kind of reference but they are different um, thicknesses so I have one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. Ten papers in here. Okay, so now I'm going to open this up and kind of mark where I want Okay, I'm going to clip these down and then I'm going to mark it but with my little pokey tool here just kind of eyeballing again the center that's about right okay and then we'll do it again once I have once I have it in the cover, about here. Being careful with your fingers. Okay, now let's go ahead and put that in here. And making sure that we have this centered in here and I'm going to clip it again making sure, actually I can use these. So you use whatever ones you have on hand and I am going to use this one, perfect. Okay, and the last one. Okay. So now let's go ahead and thread. I'm going to use this, and I think it's, yeah, it's waxed Brazilian cord, 0.5 millimeters. And so this is what I'm using to, I'm just going to grab a piece. 
I don't need it that long, but just to be safe. And I have this really long one that I like to use. It's just easier for me. So I have it and I'm going to start in the middle, bring it through. Whoops, I just tipped my bottle of glue over. Okay, I'm gonna leave a tail and then we're gonna go in at the top. Again, bringing that through. I'm gonna go back in the middle. And then I'm gonna go to the bottom. Bringing that through. Okay, making sure it's nice and tight. Okay, and then I'm just going to bring this under that one. And then we're just gonna tie it off. See that? Super easy. Let me cut that off. This went a lot smoother than I thought, so. And make sure you double knot it. And trim these off. And that's it. We are done with that part. So there we have our little journal already done. Very good, right? <clears throat> so there it is. Now, let's do the topper. Let me hold this down like that. And then we're gonna do the topper part. Now again, I'm using four envelopes for the topper. This one I'm going to leave going this way, so opening this side, but this I am going to cut off. So let me get out my, my handy dandy little paper trimmer. And I'm going to cut it right at, not at the fold, but right where this little part meets there, okay? That little flap. And I am going to ink. Okay, then we're gonna start with this one and this is gonna go, let me think, no. Because I want, it's going to go like this. Because I want it, the little one to be on this side. So it's going to have to be this way. And so all I'm doing is I'm putting the back flap back here, the back flap back here, making sure that it's nice and centered. Okay. Well, we'll do it. We'll make sure that it's nice and centered in a minute. And then again, that flap is going to go on the back. So you're going to have a bunch of the flaps in the back. And so it can go whatever direction you like. I just want it to go this way because I am going to have the closure here. And I still want this to show. And so there it is. Now we're just going to glue everything down. Okay. So let me start with this one, making sure that I have it right where I want it. It's pretty much the same height as the base one. And so we're going to go ahead and glue this down. Oops. This got stuck. So let's glue this down. Make sure that we have it in all the way. Okay. 
So there's that one. And then this one is going to go this way. So this is the third one. And this one I want right in the middle here. So let's see. Uh, that's about good. Right there. So I'm going to hold that down, open the flap, glue it down. Okay. Make sure that's nice and pressed. Then our last one. And we're going to do this right in the middle. Uh, about here is good. And then again, what am I doing? I've got one of those days where I feel like it's going to be a clumsy day. Okay. There. Now this part, you're no nobody's going to see it. This is going to actually be glued down to the um, top of our journal. And so there it is. Cute, right? Let's go ahead and decorate it. Now that we're here. And again, I try to prep everything. So I have everything already inked and cut. So this goes like this and that's like this. So we'll start from the top. And this is this one. So I've already just eyeballed it, left kind of a little bit of a frame from the envelope underneath. And we're gonna put this here. And then we'll put this one, just this little piece here. So I just found that this project is perfect for using the little sets of the six by six that we have. All right, now this one is going to go here, upside down, not upside down, okay? Now because of this project, now I want to get some more, <laughs> some more pretty little sets now. So I might have to go back on Timu. And look for some okay so here's that and then the inside again all I did was I grabbed a piece let me show you I grabbed a piece of vellum and I kind of put this border here on the edge and then I just started kind of cutting it out and so there it is there you have your, now of course this one is upside down because, you know, of course, but the rest of them are not. I didn't catch it until after. But nobody will tell. So we'll put this one here. So there's that one. This one is this one. Right side up, please. Put this one here. The inside is this one. See, I did do this one right side up. I had to make sure. There's that one. Put that 
here. Okay, and then this is just this little piece here. And I've already cut this one out. Is this right side up? Yes. There it is. Cute, right? I love it. I think it's so much fun. Yeah, this way. Okay, now this is going to go on here. And then this is going to be the closure. So let's go ahead and add this part here. So again, yeah, I was going to say, did I do this upside down too? But no, I did not. So this is going to go like this. And what I did was I added a little bit so that I can fold this part over so that we don't have this empty. And I did the same thing to here. See that? I folded it over and so we have kind of like that end part that looks kind of clean. This is the only part that's going to be bare only because this is where our topper is and then that's where we did the, um, the binding. But of course if you want to do it different and maybe cover the whole thing before doing the binding then you can do that too. So we're going to go ahead and just do this part first. Okay, so let's do this. There. And these envelopes that I'm using for the, the cover, those are actually envelopes that I got from a pack of invitations that I got from Hobby Lobby. So they were on clearance. I don't know if you've, if you remember seeing those, but it does pay sometimes to just <laughs> grab things because they're on clearance and eventually you find something to use them for. Okay, so there's that. Now this back part, because this is the back cover, I have this. Did I ink this? No, I did not. So let's go ahead and ink this quickly. This is going to go like this. Now, the only thing is, I should have done this a little bit longer because you can now see this part here, which I'm not crazy about, but it's fine. So let's put this here. Okay. I think this I might have to trim down a little bit. Actually, no, I thought I did. But no. It looked like he was hanging off a little bit, but not really. Okay. Now, we're going to glue this here. And you want to have it 
right at the edge here so that it, there you don't have a lot hanging over on this side only because my base one is pretty much the same width as the cover so if you want to do yours a little bit smaller so that it fits a little bit better then that's perfect And so we're going to just glue this down I'm using a ton of glue for this one. And then we can go ahead and put it right at the edge here. I think I'm going to open this up so that it helps it to lay better. Just wiping off the little bit of glue that seeped out. And we should be good. There it is. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Now, all we have to do is the closure. Wow, that did not take long. And I kept thinking, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so long. So I'm going to use one of my Timu brads with the washer. And because these brads, are, I mean, not, what, what am I saying brads? The eyelets. This eyelet is a little bit bigger than what I use for my crocodile. So I use just a regular, it's a mini one, but this is just a regular size hole punch. So I'm going to, let me take this off so that I can kind of see what I'm doing here. Actually, let me see. No, I like it better this way so I could see what I'm doing. I'm going to do it right at the tip here and then add this with the washer and get my, goes this way, get my crocodile, make sure the washer doesn't fall out and seal it shut see it look at how pretty that looks with that washer there love that and then just get a string now I'm just going to leave a little bit of a tail here bring this through and then let's see about here probably don't need that much but bring these two through and then the short one is going to stay here the long one is going to wrap around and then we can tie it up in a bow the rest of this off and there it is now this would take a lot longer if I hadn't already prepped and cut out all my pieces but there it is and I am so happy with it it's so cute so again let's do another flip through so here it is here's the back then we open this up and we have our envelope topper here. So we have here, 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 and here. Closing that back up, then we open. We have another pocket here. Then you have your little journal. So let me flip through my journal here so you can see the papers that I used. And then this is our center. These papers are either from T 
Timu or Amazon. These are from Amazon. These are from Amazon. Because these are double sided. See that? This is Timu. This is Timu. And this is Timu. And this is Timu. <laughs> So if I find these papers, and if you're interested, I will try to um, find them and link them for you. But that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this super easy, super fun um, envelope journal with an envelope topper, layered topper. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to say or if I'm going to title this. But there it is. Let me show you the other one since... We still have time. <laughs> Let me show you the other one again. Because the other one I absolutely love. I thought that it was so cute because of the paper. And again, I think I got this one from Timu. And so this is just a set. So it all goes together. And so this is just the... They look like the, the flapper days, right? And so here's this. And then you have this. There's that. And then you come in here. And this one has a lot more pages in it. I put a lot more, but I felt like it was too thick. So, but it's up to you under your own discretion, whatever you want to use. But there's that. And then here's the back, the back pocket. And then. Here's the back to this and that is it you guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe share all that jazz and i will see you on friday for another craft with me video so until then guys i'll see you and take care bye